Jared, I guess what's the mindset been the last week, week and a half, trying to take advantage of the time off since since Hoover and in between the regional? Yeah, no, I think the time off was uh, really big for our team, uh, just getting to get back here. Uh, we probably took two days off whenever we got back and kind of just got to work after that. But I think it was really good for us, kind of just – and because the season's a grind, man. Uh, it, it takes a lot on your body. So uh, just having those few days off and then getting back to work, I think it was really good. And uh, I think I think it really helped us reset as a team. We we got together, we did some things, hung out at the pool, and I just came to the field, hung out with each other, played ping pong, just you know, connecting as a team. I think it was big for us. Brian, Tony talked about after the A&M game that kind of thought some of the bats were y'all you know, tensed up. How do y'all avoid that as the stakes kind of get higher and higher as y'all keep playing? Yeah, no, I think I think it was there was obviously some tension there. Uh, Wanting from Texas A&M, he, he threw amazing. So, I mean, uh, credit to him for that. So, yeah, there was definitely some tension there towards uh, later in the game. I thought, you know, we, we gave ourselves a chance with our pitching, and I think we always know that we're going we're gonna to get that from them. So, yeah, there, there was some tension in the at-bats, obviously, but I think, like I said, the past, the past week we've reset a lot, and I think it's been good for us. Were you surprised that you were put with Clemson as high of a national seat as they are? Uh, you know, I really wasn't surprised by anything. We didn't know what to expect. Obviously, you have all the projections and everything that you see online. Uh, but no, not really surprised. I think, you know, we got a good draw. Uh, we, got, we got a lot of really good teams in that regional. Uh, and I think it's going to be fun to play against all of them. So I'm excited for it. Jared, you go from focusing on one team for a three-game series, now the potential of playing three teams over a four-day span. Kind of what's the different mindset, maybe preparation like for that? Yeah, I think the preparation will be about the same. Uh, we're just going to show up and you know do do whatever we always do. But I think uh, you know it's it's a different mindset for the pitchers probably because we really don't know who's going to throw against who. Uh, but luckily for us, uh, we've got a lot of guys that we can throw out there that are that are pretty good. So I, I feel pretty confident in what uh, they're going to do for us. Going on the road for a regional compared to being in Lindsey Nelson Stadium, what are the challenges with that and how are you guys prepared to do that after being at home the last two years? Yeah, that's a great question and to be honest with you, I really don't have an answer because uh, uh, last year was my first time uh, being on a regional team and you know, hosting it was really fun, having all of our fans in the stadium. Uh, but yeah, from, from what I've heard, it's a little different atmosphere, but you know, as long as we go in with the confidence and uh, the approach that I know we're capable of, I, I feel pretty confident in our, uh, in our ability to do so. Troy and then Ben. Jared, last year y'all were the team that entered the tournament as what most perceived to be the hottest team in the country. Obviously Clemson is in that. Just from what y'all learned last year, what is the difficulty maybe going into the NCAA tournament with that type of label on you? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously difficult. Uh, you're going to have a lot of teams that are wanting to come for you and uh, try to come for your neck. Uh, and obviously that's, that's how it was last year for us. Uh, I think everybody wanted to beat us. And uh, yeah, we just had a, we had a really good team last year. Clemson's got a really good squad this year. And I think they're fully capable of doing really great things. So we kind of just got to go one game at a time. Uh, and if we get to them, we're just going to have to throw our best punch. What, what do you remember about Charlotte playing them last year? And that was a long time ago. So kind of what do you see from them on paper and, and their Friday night game one guy, if they do throw him, he was at Kentucky last year. Mm -hmm. Pitched three times against y'all. What do you remember about him as well? Yeah, no, I, I just know they have a really solid team. Uh, I know they've got a few guys that went here, um, and then they've got another guy from Knoxville. So obviously those guys are going to have a little extra motivation against us. Uh, but yeah, they've got a really solid squad. Uh, they've been doing great things this year. I don't really remember much from last year or the years past, uh, but I know that they're going to throw our best punch. And uh, yeah, the guy that they might throw, uh, I remember him having a really electric fastball, really good slider. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited to see where it takes us, for sure. Yeah, Jared, what changed for this team when, when Tony mixed up the starting rotation at Arkansas going to Andrew, Chase, and Drew? I mean, did, was it a mindset change, or did anything pivot for you guys at that point? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think really what, what happened for us is when Lindsey went out there and kind of showed us what he was really capable of and, uh, you know, doing, doing exactly what we knew that he could do the whole time, it kind of changed uh, the way we looked at things on the weekends, uh, putting Burns in the bullpen. Obviously, uh, whenever you got a guy like that that can come out and do what he does, it's pretty special. So, uh, yeah, I think it just changed our, our look and uh, kind of just gave us the capability to mix things up a little bit if we needed to down the road. And like I said, I mean, we have no idea what we're going to do this weekend yet. So, you know, it's fully capable that we could have, you know, three games with, you know, first rounders throwing every single one of them. So.
Eric, and then Ryan. You mentioned um, having a lot of confidence in the pitching. You know, Chase Dolander, he looks like he's been throwing about as well as we've seen him this year the last couple of times out. What, what have you seen from that, and how much uh, fun is that to play behind? Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think he's just been more confident in his stuff, really. Uh, he, I mean, obviously, he's a, he's a special guy. He works really, really hard. He deserves everything that he's going to get. But I think uh, the last few times out, he's just trust, trusted his stuff more. Um, early on in the year, he was I, just personally, I thought he was trying to get into his metrics a little bit too much and maybe kind of just mess with the set a little bit. But I think the last few times out, he's kind of just trusted his stuff and said, like, hey, like, I'm Chase. Like, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do exactly what I do uh, every single time. So it's been, it's been really good to see. Lindsay, obviously transferred here from Charlotte. If you were to face Charlotte, is there any sort of advantage, disadvantage, either way from a hitter or a pitcher, kind of having that familiarity already? Yeah, I talked to him about it uh, yesterday, actually. And there, there's not many guys uh, from Charlotte um, that are there uh, anymore when he was. So I don't, I don't really know if it'll help us any that he went there. Um, maybe he'll know a, little, a few things about what their coach will do and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think there will be anything too crazy going on. Anything else? Last one for Jared here. I guess how cool was it to see Ben Joyce make his major league debut? I know you, you two are close. Yeah, no, that was awesome. Uh, I was actually, I was, I was hanging out with a buddy last night and uh, we were sitting downstairs in the basement and I got a text from Zach and it was, it was actually a video of Ben trotting in. So I was, I was scrambling on my phone trying to get it pulled up. And uh, yeah, I got it up just in time to see him give up a, a base hit up the middle. And I was like, all right, here we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, after that, I mean, that, that guy's super special. He responded just like that. Um, so it's, it's awesome to see that guy worked harder than anybody else that I've ever seen. And he motivates me every day to be the best version of myself. So yeah, credit to him and everything that he's going to get in the future. Thanks, Jared. All right, thank you all. You all have a good one.